Hi, my name's Alex with QC Charge, and today we're looking at two different generations of Toyota RAV4 EV. First one we're looking at is the 2002 RAV4 EV, the original, and also the 2012 Toyota RAV4 EV. These cars are 10 years apart from each other. Let's take a look at what the differences are and what things have stayed the same. So first, let's go ahead and take a peek at the original RAV4 EV here. Now these cars were built from 2000 to 2003, and about 1,500 of them were built originally. Most of those were crushed in 2003 and 2004, to the point where only about 300 of them survived. Not 100% sure exactly how many are left today, but I'm sure it's a smaller number than that. This car, when it was new, uh, had a 27.4 kilowatt hour NIMH or nickel metal hydride battery as evidenced on the back window here. You can see there's no spare tire on the back door like most first generation gasoline RAV4s would have, uh, but it does have a, a donut spare on the bottom, which is kind of a cool feature. Something that the Gen 2 RAV4 does not have. This particular car has been owned uh, by the same person for about 10 years now. And in that time, it has had the battery pack refurbished once. Um, but the car is this person's daily driver. It's got 155,000 miles. And when it was new, the range on these cars was quoted to uh, be between 80 and 120 miles. Um, this car can still do about 80 miles on a charge on a good day, which is pretty awesome, even though it's, it's 20 years old and uses a pretty antiquated battery technology. From the factory, these cars had a measly 67 horsepower and did 0 to 60 in a whopping 18 seconds. Uh, actually, driving it in person, it does feel like a bit more power than the than the 67 that's quoted on paper, but it certainly is is not a powerhouse, that's for sure. But it's it's still a pretty pretty fun car to drive, and you know it's it's uh, it's pretty refined. Under the hood here, we have what's referred to as the suitcase. It houses the inverter uh, that runs the motor, as well as the onboard charger for the car, and the charge port. It's actually right here in the front, and there's a little flap in the grill when the hood is closed that you uh, use to charge it. This uses a, an old-style charging standard um, that's actually an, an induction paddle, so there's no physical contacts on the, on the uh, plug that you put in. It's all inductive through that little port there, which is kind of interesting. That was uh, something that the, the GM EV1 also shared with this car. Uh, some of the other cars from this era that were electric used a different plug called an Avcon, uh, which is basically the, the old version of J1772. From inside the cockpit here, it looks uh, pretty much like a conventional gasoline-powered RAV4 from this era. Uh, it's got the same kind of uh, very early 2000s, late 90s upholstery. Uh, it's got the same automatic transmission shifter that an automatic RAV4 would have had. And of course, it's got all analog gauges. But if we uh, go ahead and turn the key here and start the car up, and you can see it's got the little the little ready light, just like the Gen 2 Rav4 has, which we'll see here in a minute. We're uh, pretty close to fully charged right now, about 80%. And we yeah, it's got air conditioning, has a charge timer down here, heated seats. It's a pretty cool car. So now for the Gen 2 RAV4 EV, which actually is built using a Gen 3 RAV4 body. And these cars, uh, for those that don't know, were built in a partnership with Tesla. So it actually uses a full Tesla powertrain, very similar to an early Model S. It uses the large drive unit, uses a lot of the same high voltage components as a Model S, just has a smaller battery. 
So the, the battery in this car is 41.8 kilowatt hours compared to the 27.4 that the, the first gen had. And of course this one has a, a lithium ion battery. Cells are built by Panasonic. On paper, this car has 154 horsepower, although in the in the real world it seems like it's uh, got quite a bit more power than that. If you actually do the math based on the the voltage and amperage that you get out of the drive unit, it's probably a little bit north of 200 horsepower based on the, the actual figures. But this car does zero to 60 in just a touch over seven seconds, so more than twice as quickly as this car, and it's also um, got quite a bit more range. On paper, this car was quoted as having 107 miles of range, if I remember correctly off the top of my head. Um, but that was using the uh, non-extended mode. So there is an extended mode on these that you can use to charge the battery up a little bit further. And in the real world, um, especially these days, you can see about 100, and, 100 to 120 miles is pretty typical. Uh, when they were new, you could push them to maybe 130 or even 140 if you got lucky. So under the hood on this car, there's not quite as much to see since there's just a big plastic cover here. Um, but underneath everything on here is the onboard charger and the DC to DC converter and all that stuff. And as you can see, this car is also equipped with our DC fast charging kit called JDMO. So this uses the, the CHAdeMO charging standard, just like a Nissan Leaf and it can charge the car to 80% in about 30 to 45 minutes. Interior-wise, the Gen 2 RAV4 is a bit more of a departure from its gasoline-powered counterpart. It's got a fully digital dashboard, uh, which if we start up the car here, which of course this is a push-button start as opposed to having a physical key. Here the contactors close there. You can see it's all digital. And this car actually has very, very close to the same exact mileage as our other counterpart over there. Uh, the infotainment system in this one is a bit different. Um, this has been updated to a, an aftermarket JVC unit. Uh, the original would have been a, a screen that kind of took up the space that you can kind of see behind there. So this one's a little bit bigger than stock and shows some, some different things than the factory one would. And of course, this uh, has a shifter basically from a Prius in it, so it just does that kind of thing. Um, but other than that, it's similar to a gasoline-powered RAV4. Well, that does it for our comparison between these two cars. Hopefully you enjoyed. It's uh, kind of neat to see how many things stayed the same and how many things are different between the two. And they're, they're both pretty neat pieces of EV history. Uh, of course, the, the Gen 1 being very early production EV, and the Gen 2 being uh, a car that was uh, done in a partnership with Tesla, that uh, without which Tesla may not exist. So they're both cool pieces of EV history, and they're, they're definitely worth preserving.